Hey there and welcome back. And if you're new to e-commerce and looking to start a successful online business, but you aren't sure where to begin, then you've come to the right place. Because today, I'm gonna guide you through the process of using Shopify for building a store and growing it to a larger scale. While there are many platforms out there offering similar services, I prefer Shopify because of its excellent features and user-friendly interface. And of course, there are areas that could use some improvement. For example, more blogging features would be great, but overall, I believe it's one of the best options for hosting an online store, especially if you're just starting out. So if you're ready to start building your first online business, then let's get right into it. And by the way, if at any point throughout this video, you wanna try Shopify for yourself, then you can benefit from a three-day free trial as well as only pay $1 per month for the first three months. Okay, now let's go over the steps to starting an online store. First, you can go to Shopify's website and sign up for the free trial. And then you will need to provide credit card information upfront since the trial period is obligational free. Simply enter the basic contact details and some business information to access your Shopify dashboard. Next, I recommend that you conduct some market research to identify popular products that align with your target audience interests because this helps you understand the market and trends to see which products sell the most. So you can use Shopify's dropshipping apps and supplier integrations to help secure products. And now it's time to personalize your store's appearances by choosing a customizable theme that complements your brand's identity and aesthetics. Start with a logo, colors, and product images to create a consistent and visually appealing store. Then you can add and select products to your store and organize them into relevant categories to make navigation easy for your customers. All right, now it's time to add a secure payment process by activating your preferred payment method from the Shopify dashboard. Also, be sure to add shipping costs and estimated delivery times for your customers during checkout. And once you're finished, the store is almost completed. But before launching it to the public, test out all the functions, including the buttons, forms, and checkout process. Also test your store's responsiveness on different devices to ensure that it looks and performs well on both desktop and mobile devices. Now, once you're satisfied with your store setup functionality, it's finally time to launch it. Now, okay, now launching a store is just the beginning. To achieve sustainable growth and success, investing time and effort into various strategies is the way to go. For example, one effective way to drive traffic to your store is by running targeted ads on platforms like Facebook, Google, and other social media platforms. So choose the platform that best fits your audience and focus on precise targeting to reach potential customers effectively. Another powerful tool that can bring organic traffic traffic to your website is search engine optimization. By optimizing your content and website for search engine, you can improve your store's visibility and ranking in search results. Now, building a social media audience before launching your store gives you a significant advantage. So you can promote your products to a pre-existing audience, increasing the chances of early sales. Also, keep in mind that analyzing and optimizing are an ongoing process for the success of your online store. Now, this involves continuously monitoring and evaluating various aspects of your store's performance and making data-driven decisions to improve its efficiency, user experience, and profitability. So you can use Shopify's reporting and analytics tool to provide data on how customers interact with your store. And understanding customer behavior allows you to tailor your marketing strategies and optimize your store's layout for improved user experience. Now, with increasingly popular of mobile shopping, it's important to make sure that your store is mobile friendly. So analyze how your store performs on various devices and optimize its design and responsiveness to provide a seamless experience for mobile users as well. Next, you can encourage customer feedback and reviews to gain valuable data about their experience with your store because this can help you identify areas for improvement and address any issues promptly. And now let's go over the cost. Now there are three plans to choose from. First, the basic plan costs $29 annually 
and this is an excellent starting point because it provides essential features to help start and run an online store smoothly. And as your business grows, you can easily upgrade to more advanced plans to access more features for scalability, of course. Like the advanced plan, which has more features and offers professional reports and 15 staff accounts for just $299. And lastly, the plus plan is the most premium option, providing a fully customizable checkout and unlimited staff accounts. It costs $2,000 a month, but it also has the lower transaction fees. So it'll save you money, especially if you have a larger business. All right, now let's explore why Shopify is such a great option if you are a beginner. First off, the platform's dashboard and setup process are straightforward, making it easy for beginners to navigate through the various tools and functionalities. And with their all-in-one approach, you don't need to worry about multiple platforms or third-party integrations. Everything you need, including website hosting, security payment processing, and shipping logistics is available on Shopify. So it's this integrated approach it streamlines the setup process, which makes it more manageable for those who are new to e-commerce. And to support beginners and small businesses out there, they also offer a lot of learning resources, including video tutorials, guides, webinars, and an active community forum. So these resources help entrepreneurs understand marketing strategies that'll set them up for success. Now, Shopify is not only an excellent choice for beginners and small businesses, but also has a platform that can grow with your business. Because as your business gains traction and expands, Shopify makes sure that your store can handle increased traffic, a large product catalog, and meets the demands of a growing customer base. Another thing that I appreciate is that they offer reliable customer support. Their support team is available 24 seven to address any technical issues or questions that you may have. Now, security is a big concern when it comes to e-commerce and it's a top priority for Shopify. So they basically take measurements to provide safety and protection to all users' data and transactions. And they employ secure socket layer encryption to safeguard sensitive information during transmission, creating a secure connection between the customer's browser and the server. Plus, they adhere to all the industry requirements and regularly update their technologies to maintain a secure e-commerce environment. So to wrap things up, launching a successful online store is not easy, but with the right mindset and guidance, you can do it as well. Shopify is a great platform to get your business up and running and let it grow. So I definitely recommend Shopify to anyone who wants to build a successful online business. And that's it for today. Like and subscribe if you found today's video helpful. And if you have any questions, well, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to check Shopify for yourself, then you can click the link in the description down below and benefit from a three day free trial, as well as only pay $1 per month for the first three months. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.